Hey there, welcome to Vistory. Today we'll be talking about a topic that's been making headlines all around the world, inflation. Inflation is a complex economic phenomenon that affects countries differently. In this video, we'll be exploring how inflation is affecting the world economy, with a specific focus on its impact on Pakistan. To understand inflation, we first need to understand what it means. Inflation is the rate at which the general level of prices for goods and services is rising and, subsequently, the purchasing power of currency is falling. This means that the same amount of money you used to buy a product a year ago may not be enough to buy it today. Inflation is caused by a variety of factors, including an increase in demand for goods and services, a decrease in the supply of goods and services, or an increase in the cost of production. In recent years, inflation has been a growing concern for many countries, including Pakistan. Pakistan has been facing high inflation rates since 2018, with the rate hitting an all-time high of 14.6% in January 2020. There are several reasons for this. One reason is the devaluation of the Pakistani rupee against the US dollar, which has made imports more expensive. This has led to an increase in the prices of essential goods, such as food and fuel. Another reason for inflation is the increase in government borrowing, which has led to an increase in the money supply, thereby causing prices to rise. The impact of inflation on the Pakistani economy has been significant. High inflation rates have led to a decrease in consumer purchasing power, which has resulted in a decline in the standard of living for many Pakistanis. The rise in prices has also led to social unrest and protests, as people struggle to make ends meet. In addition, inflation has made it difficult for businesses to plan for the future, as they struggle to predict the prices of goods and services in the coming months. Looking ahead, the impact of inflation on Pakistan's economy by the year 2030 could be significant. If the current inflation rate persists, it could lead to a decline in Pakistan's economic growth and a decrease in foreign investment. The high prices of goods and services could also lead to social unrest and political instability, making it difficult for the country to attract foreign investment and maintain economic stability. Furthermore, inflation could also exacerbate existing inequalities in Pakistan. The poorest segments of society, who are already struggling to make ends meet, will likely be hit the hardest by rising prices. This could lead to an increase in poverty and a decline in social welfare. To mitigate the impact of inflation, Pakistan's government will need to take decisive action. This could include implementing monetary policies aimed at controlling inflation, such as increasing interest rates or reducing the money supply. The government could also consider implementing structural reforms aimed at improving the efficiency of the economy, reducing corruption, and attracting foreign investment. In conclusion, the impact of inflation on Pakistan's economy by the year 2030 could be significant. If left unchecked, inflation could lead to a decline in economic growth, a decrease in foreign investment, and exacerbate existing inequalities in the country. It's important for Pakistan's government to take decisive action to control inflation and implement structural reforms aimed at improving the efficiency of the economy. Thanks for tuning in to Vistory.